hello and welcome to Gina Moon. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and take a look at your dominant energy and your dominant energy basically signifies the energy that's influencing your entire reading. I'm also going to take a look at your past, present, future energies, any blockages and what's in your opportunity, anything that's coming towards you. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Also, quick reminder, it's a general reading, so take it as it resonates. It could be you towards somebody, somebody towards you, okay? And also, this can be for your sun, your moon rising, or your Venus placement. So if those positions are dominant within your astrology chart, please make sure to check those out as well because those may resonate. Okay, now let's go ahead and see what you have here for your dominant energy. And remember, it could also be in the reverse. So if you feel that the roles are reversed, then go ahead, feel free to reverse them. All right, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the drum roll. You have here the number 14 with creativity. Okay, so it's going to be a week that is going to require your creativity. If you face a problem right now, if you kind of feel like, okay, you can't find a solution to a situation, there's something here that is kind of coming in to inspire you to be creative. Because if you think about it, when everything is perfectly flowing in your life and there's no problems, there's no mistakes, everything is just picture perfect there's really no need for you to be creative, okay? Because everything is flowing. But whenever there are problems, whenever there are situations where you're kind of trying to find solutions, that's when you need to tap into your creativity in order to find that solution, okay? So there is some kind of energy here where it's a week for you to tap into your creativity in order for you to invent something, okay? Or come up with some kind of a eureka moment, okay? I've got it, that sort of thing. I see that there's gonna be a lot of changes coming in your life, okay? Right now, I feel like some of you guys are in a transition phase, a lot of changes, like I said. So let's go and see what's going on here for you. Past, present, future energies for this week. So you have here, okay, the six of wands in your recent past. In your present energies, I do see here the Hierophant could be Taurus energy, the three of swords in the near future, and also at the bottom of the deck, the eight of cups. So I see that, yes, there is some kind of challenging position, okay, that you are facing right now, okay? And so somebody here is walking away from a person or a situation that has disappointed them, okay? Whether this is you or somebody else, somebody here is walking away, feeling a sense of disappointment. Why? Because this person had high expectations. They had high expectations that everything was going to flow picture perfect, okay? That this person was going to turn out to be this way. And then guess what? It turned out to be this other way, okay? So there's something here where, you know, somebody here is walking in some kind of sadness and or some kind of disappointment. Now, I also see here in the recent past with the six of wands, what this is saying is that for you in the recent past, there was victory, there was success, something here, you know, worked out in your favor. You achieved some kind of goal, you achieved something here, you felt happy, there was a lot of appreciation, accolades that came your way, okay? Now, it could be a relationship, it could be a connection, career-related, family-related, uh, love-related, whatever this is. Now, in your present energies, I do see here the Harvard. So there is some kind of commitment or a higher level of commitment, whether this is you committing to yourself, committing to your job, career, or it could also be a love situation. But I do see that right now this pertains to some kind of a higher level of commitment. I also see that for others of you, there's going to be a person in your life that is here to guide you, okay? This is a very wise individual. It's a person here who might be either a lawyer, a counselor, or a friend, somebody here with a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge, okay? Now, I also see here the three of swords in your near future energy. So yeah, some kind of heartbreak, some kind of energy of pain, pain, okay? But here with this energy of pain in the near future, I do sense that, okay, we're going to figure out what this is when we get details, but there's something here that, you know, you need to start learning from, okay? Or that you will be learning from. It's sort of like this painful cycle because remember, you are walking away or somebody here is walking away in disappointment. Now, this is all about you kind of, you know, understanding that this pain here is what's actually making you stronger and will make you stronger in the near future. Let's go ahead and start clarifying for you why creativity is here. Why is creativity here for you? 
And here you have the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Wands, as well as the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You have the Two of Cups. Yeah, so this has to do with a connection, a soulmate union, a soulmate connection. For some, it could be love-related, family-related, career-related, whatever this is, but it's a soulmate union and a soulmate connection. Now, soulmates can be anyone. It could be a love okay, union. It could be a brother, a sister, a father, a mother, a friend, you know, an acquaintance, whatever this is. But I do see that this has to do with you being creative as to how to find a solution between you and this connection that you have with this person, okay? Now, I'm also getting that there is going to be a lot of options. So you're going to be faced with a lot of options. And so again, you're going to have to choose the right one and be creative, okay? Now, there's going to be some kind of opportunity coming in here for you, somebody here offering a gesture of love, whether somebody here is offering you an apology, a romantic gesture, that sort of thing, or it could also be you towards them. But I do see that the lines of communication will be opening up in order for you to choose wisely, okay? I see that there's somebody here who might be making up excuses as to why they don't want to pay attention to this love union or this situation here that is calling for you to open up, you know, your heart. But I do sense that somebody here might be placing a barrier, okay, on purpose in the middle of you and the solution, okay? Why? Because this person doesn't feel comfortable being vulnerable. This individual keeps making up excuses as to, oh, no, I'm too busy. I'm too busy with this and that, you know, that sort of thing. But the lines of communication will be opening up between you and some kind of a soulmate union, soulmate connection that is coming in for you. Like I said here with the page of cups, somebody here is about to come in and make a move, okay? Either a phone call, you know, a gesture of love. This person has romantic feelings for you. And I do see that it's the beginning stages of something. Now let's see why the six of wands is here in the recent past. Why is the six of wands for you in the recent past? You have the emperor here as well as a five of swords, the knight of swords at the bottom here, the wheel of fortune. So in the recent past, you were dealing with a personality type who was rather mm, kind of like uh, in a very masculine energy, okay? This person does not show emotions. They don't really like to show emotions. They like to be in control, okay, of their feelings, of their thoughts, of the situations, okay, outside of them. And I do sense also that this could be an authority figure, a father figure, but somebody that comes across as just very masculine, okay, a lot of masculine energy. Now, I do see that in the recent past, there was some kind of an argument, some kind of in uh, some kind of tension, okay, between you and a person here. I feel like somebody here uh, pushed somebody else's buttons and there was some kind of, like I said, an argument and for some, some kind of a disagreement. Now this disagreement, okay, I do sense that it had to happen for in order for somebody here to be honest with themselves about this person, about the situation, because something here was destined, okay, to kind of come apart. It was destined this way, okay? Something here had to happen in, cer in a certain way in order for somebody to realize that they were losing themselves within the situation, okay? Or rather, to not lose themselves in the situation. Now, let's go and see why this Hierophant is here in your present energies. Why is this Hierophant here in your present energies? And you have here the Empress as well as a Page of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. At the bottom here, you have the Nine of Swords. So I see that in your present energies, there's somebody here experiencing a lot of anxiety. Like I said, it's kind of like you're worried, you're afraid that this is going to happen, that's going to happen. You know, I'm here to remind you, you are a free being, okay? Your soul is here to have experiences. You have the freedom to choose anything you want, any thought you want, okay? You are so free in this lifetime that you can choose bondage. What I mean by that is you're so free that you can choose any thought that you desire. But if you're going to choose negative thoughts, of course, that's going to work against you. That doesn't work for you or anybody. It only causes anxiety. It only causes you to have sleepless nights. It doesn't help you recover in any sort of way. So instead of focusing in on the problem. This is all about finding creativity, okay, within you, which you are a very creative sign, okay, and start focusing on solutions, okay? How can I, you know, benefit from this situation, even if it's the worst case scenario? These are the questions that you need to start asking yourself, okay? Now, I do also see here the Empress. Yeah, something is growing. I see that something is growing, but you have to focus on the positive. And I know as cliche as that may sound, and as boring as that may sound, that's exactly what you need to do, because I do see that something here is blossoming. But something cannot blossom if you're not feeding it the right nutrients, the right things, 
Okay. If you're not focusing in on the positive aspects, if you plant a seed and you want to see it grow, okay, you need to water it. You need to take care of it. You need to be nurturing to it. So it's all about giving this situation nurturing, loving energy. Okay optimistic energy. And I do sense that some of you guys either are getting ready to send out some kind of a message, but I'm also getting that somebody here also wants to come in and send you some kind of a message. It's like you and this person are mirroring one another. Okay. I do sense that this message is going to be coming in okay, towards you as well. Whether you send it or not, it's still going to be coming in. But I do sense that it's going to make you feel more enthusiastic about, okay, finding the solution instead of focusing in on the problem. Because I do see that you are inside of you. I do see that you're very enthusiastic about the positive result. Okay. Now let's go and see why this three of swords is in the near future. Why is this three of swords here for you in the near future? And you have here the seven of pentacles, the four of wands, the lovers at the bottom here, the ace of swords. Yeah, so some kind of truth will be revealed, okay? This truth that will be revealed, I do sense that in the near future, yes, it might cause some kind of heartache. It might cause some kind of pain. But again, wouldn't you rather know the truth instead of live in some kind of illusion, delusion, or denial? Okay, so ask yourself those questions right underneath this one. It's going to be passionate, a passionate brand new beginning. So if you accept the fact that this heartache, heartbreak is here to teach you some kind of a lesson, okay, instead of you wallowing in uh, on the pain, look at this, the lovers is here. So something here beautiful is going to show up. But again, if you focus on the negative aspects, that's what you will create. If you focus in on the positive aspects, you will bring in some kind of a solution. And that solution is a soulmate union, soulmate connection coming in to be together as one masculine and feminine energies. I do see that after this heartbreak, there's going to be some kind of a commitment. So again, this is all about you focusing in on the positive aspects of the situation. I do see that there's going to be some kind of a resolution, even though right now you might be focusing in on the fact that you've already put in enough work and an, enough effort. Maybe you have that kind of feeling of giving up, but it's telling you do not give up. Okay. Focus in on the positive. Like I said, the lovers here means that somebody here is about to come in and open up your heart. Okay. Now we're going to be going into the extended ring to see who that person is coming in to open up your heart, to offer you a gesture of love. It's going to turn into that lover's type of energy, some kind of a deeper bond that the universal forces are bringing together. Okay. In order for you and this person to have some kind of a soul experience. So we're going to dive deeper into this other person's subconscious thoughts about either deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions. Also, I want to look into the overall uh, general energy and how this is all going to resolve its for you. We're also going to end a reading with any messages from spirit. If you want to check that out, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psychic Soar so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on Psychic Source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my Psychic Source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.